I'm 11 Alive meteorologist Melissa Nord in Atlanta, Georgia, and today we're going to do a little science demo to talk about convection. And convection happens in things that are liquid and in our air. So in the oceans, we have these convective currents that we're going to show you. And we also see these in our atmosphere. This is why we see hot air rising and cold air sinking. It's all because of differences in the density. So it could be differences in temperature creating that density difference, or it could have to do with the uh, salinity, like in the oceans. Okay, so for this demo, you can do this at home by yourself as well. You don't need a whole lot of stuff. I've got a bar, large tub right here. This has a lot of water in it. And this tub has been sitting here for a while, so the water's at room temperature. Meanwhile, to represent cold water and hot water, or cold air and hot air, I've got two different items. I've got these very dark blue ice cubes over here. And then I've got a little jar or bottle that has warm water in it. This doesn't have to be boiling hot, but it does need to be hotter than that room temperature water for this experiment to work. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put the blue ice cubes here in the jar, in the container. And what you're going to notice, because these are cold as those ice cubes melt, they're going to sink the water that's melting. That's because it's more dense than the room temperature water. Meanwhile, I've got my jar of warm water, and I'm going to take this, I'm going to put it in the top, and let that water out. And look how it's not sinking. It's staying on the surface. This is because that water that's dyed red, that is warmer or less dense. The molecules are spaced further apart than the blue and also than the neutral room temperature water. So we're going to see over time, this is kind of cool to look and see, you see the ice cubes, I'll put a few more in there, I don't want to disturb the water too much, but that blue water that's more dense and colder than the room temperature water, that's not just sinking to the bottom of the container, but look how it's starting to travel across. And on the flip side, with the hot water that's at the top, the red, as it's been further and further in there, and it's moving to the other side of the container, it's starting to cool off. So eventually it starts to sink as well. You see how it's sinking over here on the, the right side, or the left side? So this right here demonstrates convection. Now we see this in our atmosphere. We see this where winds carry things that are hot or uh, high pressure and low pressure. They carry things in that way, but also in the ocean, which is another component of World Meteorological Day, because the oceans impact our weather and weather trends and weather cycles that we see out there. So in the oceans, cold, more dense, higher salinity water travels from up near the poles of the earth, deep underneath the ground, and then eventually it rises as it warms, and then it travels back towards the poles again. So it's all a cycle of Earth trying to balance out everything in nature. Very cool. So this experiment, again, you can do with your kids at home, but you can see how all of the blue is staying on the bottom. It's traveling, trying to transport that colder, more dense water to the other side. And eventually, as it warms up, it will start to rise back to the top. And the red has been traveling across the top, going into the bottom.